Okay, you guys, we are about to get ready. We're gonna go out to dinner in a little bit. To so a very special place. A very special dinner. <laughs> so we're gonna get ready and we're gonna try on some outfits that we got from Thread Up, and maybe we'll have some options there to wear. Yeah, so we're gonna kind of explain what it is and try on some outfits. Thread Up believes in sustainable fashion, so we stand, obviously. It is a consignment and thrift store for your closet, your wallet, and the planet. There's so many good pieces on Thread Up. This first outfit I got is a Citizens of Humanity casual skirt and then the top is Marc Jacobs. It's just so cute. It's honestly crazy. I got this skirt for $8.99 and it's almost a $200 skirt. So this outfit I saved so much money on. This is a Tahari turtleneck sweater and it was originally $119 and it was on thread up for $27.99 and it's so cute and comfortable. And then the shoes are Stuart Weitzman. They're originally $635 and I got them on thread up for $157.99. I literally saved around $500 $70 for this entire outfit. In this outfit, I am wearing an Acne Studios sweater. Like such a fun brand, but it is in the pricier end. So it was so great that I was able to save so much. It's fall season, so I really wanted a big cozy knit and this is just beautiful. And then this outfit is a Lulu's casual dress and it was $60 and it was on thread up for $23.99. And these super cute boots were originally $60 and they were on thread up for $23.99. And this Juicy Couture crossbody bag was probably my favorite thing I bought because because I'm in love with it. This last sweater I've been living in, it's a Tibby sweater. I love this brand. There's so many good brands on Thread Up. And this sweater was $428 and I got it for 86 and it's literally in pristine condition. It's perfect and I'm obsessed with it. Oh, these outfits are so cute. You can get an extra 30% off your first order at Thread Up by using code Carly Aaron. You guys, today is the best day of my entire life. <laughs> First of all, Erin and I are wearing the same exact color for no reason. Accident specifically. I think it was more of a like uh, a subliminal thing. You guys are like, like Tom osmosis. and Tom. Oh yeah. yeah you're just like Tom Tom. We are. We are. And we're also just like Lisa Vanderpump because pink is her color it and she claims it as her color only. So I don't know if you if you listen to our podcast, you know this, and we kind of mentioned it in our last video, but I have been watching Vanderpump Finally. Rules. Finally. Erin's watched it like the whole time I've ever known her. <laughs> And if you don't know what it is, it's basically a reality show on um, Hulu. It's a brand new. It's on Bravo. <laughs> it's on Bravo. Sorry, it's on Bravo. I watch it on Hulu. You if you want to catch up, it's yeah. on Hulu. But um, it's about these people so who work at a code. restaurant. <laughs> I literally, I wish. <laughs> um, it's all these kids who work at Sir Restaurant, which is in West Hollywood. It's and a unique restaurant. Did you know what it's No. <laughs> Oh my god, that makes so much sense. Yeah, sexy, unique restaurant. Lisa Vander. But we're going to the restaurant. Aaron's been there a couple times. I'm so excited. Like, I feel like I'm going on a set of a show. I mean, I guess it is, but like, yeah. you know what I mean? But they always talk about the fried goat cheese balls on the show, and I have to have them. Yeah, that's like the reason we're going. Literally the reason we're going. I'm a big sucker for like fried, I love fried mac and cheese balls. I can text Sam Paul ask him where he's at. Are you serious? Yeah. Like, no, I'm too scared. <laughs> Guys, we had to make reservations. Like, it's a whole thing. Go cheese balls. Okay, we're here. We had to wait so long for the goat cheese For some reason, I thought they were like big. No, I did too. I feel like I looked them up in the picture. It looked big. They had to go somewhere to get these. Yeah, I think they did. You know, they're literally, they're appetizers. And we got our food and... We're done with our meals. No, we're done with our meals and everything. And finally, the appetizer came out and it's 7.40. Our reservation was 6.15. <laughs> but I'm excited to try. Of course, to go with the goat cheese balls, you have to have a little uh, prego pasta sauce. <laughs> of course. Like, like half a spoonful. Uh, yeah. So weird, but I'm like, this is very elegant, I will is, say. Just, just, just so we can confirm, this is why we came here. This yeah. is the signature dish. Yeah. This is the signature dish. Yeah. It smells good. It smells like I'm at a fair. <laughs> it probably had to go drive to the it Orange County did. Fair. Lisa <laughs> Vanderbilt, I love you. I'm so sorry. Okay, this is really good, but I feel like I feel like I would get these from like Trader Joe's. Yeah, like 100% in a frozen sack. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. But they are really good. Well, I'm it's, happy it's I ate them. It's fried and cheese. Like, <laughs> 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 but I honestly didn't know if I liked goat cheese. I feel like I it had it good. once. I'll have yeah. to try. What rating on a scale of I mean, one to ten? Probably like eight out of ten. Okay. But like, it'd be way better if it was like didn't take an hour and a half. <laughs> Tea. Don't worry, I'll still leave a good Yelp review because it's <laughs> Okay, so we didn't film this, but we just took Carly to Tom Tom, 
and I want to hear your thoughts on Tom Tom. So if you don't know what Tom Tom is, there's two oh, characters yeah. in Banner Pump Rules named Tom and Tom. And I guess I'm and not the there friends. yet in the series, but I guess they like started their own bar well, slash restaurant. Lisa With Vanderpump Lisa. said, I want to use your name on this restaurant so you can own 5%. <laughs> Which is like <laughs> so tragic. I've been there before. We went there with Rebecca for dinner. It would be like if David said, I want to start a restaurant called Carly and Aaron. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'd be like, go, literally. go actually and you can own 5%. 5%. No, literally go f*** yourself. <laughs> Tom Tom's was so much better. I don't want to trash Sir because Sir is so iconic and I feel like it just but makes it sense. Is trash. It is No, it is trash. It. Yeah. it is trash. It's very like tacky and just like like, what am I eating? It felt like heated up meals. Guys, I've literally <laughs> felt like I'm gonna have diarrhea. Like, we, <laughs> no, that's why we are going real. home. <laughs> like, gotta not, leave. not to be funny. Like, I literally sat on the toilet at Tom Tom and I was like, guys, we gotta go, I think. Yeah, I feel like we said that too when we were eating at Sir. I was like, this feels like I might have food poisoning. Yeah, yeah it's, it's got that vibe to but it. But Tom Tom's is so much, <laughs> they had great music. Like, Sir's music was literally like covers of songs that were just like, didn't make it sense. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. You just have to go and experience her to experience it and then like only ever go back for the alcohol. Yeah. Like I just don't think that it's like a food place. I mean, I'm obsessed with Sir just because like <laughs> it's so weird and the show, like it just makes sense. But... Like, I would like to work there for a day. No, yeah, like we'll... in like the OG like cute outfit. No, we'll get a job there when we fall off for sure. We have like a good day at Sir though. Oh well, no, that's what I'm saying. It's good to go and it's fun to go drink. Well, we went there during Pride. Yeah. We gotta bring Carly during fun. Pride. Oh, yeah. And t didn't Lisa Vanderpump? Yeah. Lisa vodka. Vanderpump poured vod Vanderpump vodka into my mouth. I, that's the most like... iconic thing that could ever happen to <laughs> so you. So iconic. <laughs> and then it was so funny. You know how, like, they always, like, when they're filming reality shows, <laughs> they're like, okay, we want you to uh, <laughs> sign your sign your name so that we can use this in case we use yeah. it or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I was... <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like pretty drunk at this point and I was just like so like on a high because Lisa Random had just poured vodka into my mouth and the lady was coming around like getting people's signatures and she did not come up to me for a signature and I was one of those people that was like you know but like Lisa poured it into my mouth like are you sure you don't need my signature? <laughs> are, you, are you sure? <laughs> are you sure you don't want my signature? Like, what about she... mine? Ken was like carrying Jiggy R.I.P. Oh my god, that was great. Yeah, and Sandy and Jax were both bartending. Wait, I James, cannot. James was, was DJ. Stop! Uh, if, I'm saying, I told TJ and Aaron, I was like, if I could time travel, it would be to 2014 <laughs> to go to Sir when they were all working there. Yeah. Like, nothing else. I wouldn't change anything. <laughs> I wouldn't make anything better. <laughs> I would just go back to them. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, a few things. One, I was doing some biz stuff, and I don't know if you saw, but we have now reached over 500,000 downloads on our <gasps> podcast. <laughs> Which I actually so did not know You did? Yeah, well, I oh. saw it yesterday. But we haven't said it anywhere. This morning. Well, yesterday when I was looking Half at... Half a mil baby. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah. Um, and we don't even have 20 episodes yet. It's so, like very cool. Um, the other thing is I totally forgot to tell you that there is a Vanderpump location in Las Vegas. What? Yeah. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, wait, didn't you go there? Yes. And like the dress code thing was weird? Oh my God, yeah. And then people were like... <laughs> I'm like, come so, on, I want to go. <laughs> people were so mad at me because... Okay, so oh. Vanderpump, Vanderpump okay, Vegas is, it's like a cute little like cocktail bar. We were wearing like jeans and normal clothes, like what I'm wearing now, like what yeah. you're wearing now. And they were like, you can't come in because there's a dress code. And then there were literally people wearing like cargo shorts and Crocs and flip flops. And I'm like, how can you not let us in, but let people who are wearing yeah, I know like, you less mean. dressed stuff. But people were like you're saying that these people are like dressed bad. And it's like, no, I'm just no, saying. I remember that. that. It wasn't They're more all. casual than we are yeah. and they're allowed in. It'd be like, I went to school in jeans and a top and someone wore pajamas. It's like, well, I'm not yeah. saying they're dressed bad. It's just like. No, a thousand percent. Like I wear flip flops and, well, I don't wear flip flops, but like. Or cargo shirts. Shorts. Yeah. <laughs> so we can go there. Wait, is this like on the show too? I just haven't yes. seen it yet. Yeah, but okay. like not big. Like no, we don't see anyone who works there or anything. Okay, like it's, it's just like maybe they'll have the go to balls. I'm opening a location in Vegas. Okay, and good. then they like go to the grand opening, but it's like really not. Is a big it on the strip? 
No, it's in Caesar's Palace. Oh, okay. It's so cool because Jamie, who's Sheena's best friend, is obsessed with emo night. So it's truly like worlds colliding. So like she had her birthday party years and years ago, probably like four or five years ago at emo night. Oh, was that? I feel like I remember that. And you're like, people from Vanderpump Rules yes. are here. Yeah. So like they all went. <laughs> In other news, we're going to film with Elle Mills. We're doing her podcast today, which I'm so excited about, mainly because we haven't seen her in like two years. Oh my God, so long. She has like a new phone number. <laughs> Oh yeah, she I was does. like, I have your number. Why are you DMing me on Instagram? I'm excited because her po podcast is all about fangirls and like obviously Taylor Swift for us. So I feel like she'll probably hopefully get into that. Yeah, hopefully she'll surprise us with Taylor. Yeah, we can only hope. <laughs> We're also listening to the Red Album because it is 68 degrees out. It's the coldest day in oh, LA. Yeah. Okay, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope that you had the best time eating out with us as we kind of there. good food with yeah. us. <laughs> Kind of good food. Kind of the worst. Yeah, but it's okay. You, how was your experience? Um, overall? Overall, I would, mm, it's hard because it's like emotional experience and actual tasting experience. Emotional Two experience, different 10 out of 10. Yeah. Tasting? Tasting, six, seven out of 10. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's like nice. It is nice, but I just can't help it. I'm obsessed. But Tom Tom's was good, so I feel like that boosted it a little bit. Totally. But. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Yeah, and thank you again so much to Thread Up for sponsoring. And make sure to use our code Carly Aaron to get 30% off your first order. And you can get super Ooh, cute outfits. The cutest. Just and like, like be sustainable queens like we are. Yeah. Make sure to like and subscribe. And, and we'll, we'll see, see you, you on, on Friday. Friday. Bye. Bye. I never wear fake lashes. And I was like, I wonder how it works. And it literally just shoop, sticks so onto the magnetic. Eyeliner. That's so crazy. I know, like, who thought of that? A genius, uh, obviously. It uh, has to be. Thomas Edison came back from the dead. <laughs> he said, no more light bulbs. Only lashes. Lashes now. <laughs> let there be lashes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he said, let there be lashes. <laughs>